All right, let's do a more two or nine. One of the things I'm trying to do is handle these approach shots like I do when I play golf. Looking for the apex on the green. shot. Not sure how we came up so short. So with a five wind and slightly downhill, it's actually going to land about right there with no power, so maybe I'll put a slight hint of power on it, but not much. Perfect shot! Big shot. That's what you don't want to do. All right, so where are we at? Looks like a pretty long max short iron going into a headwind. We'll just counter with some top spin, so about one. One grid square matching where the wind's coming from there. And a max. Oh shit, we're running out of time. I don't have time to do a proper wind adjustment. That's frustrating. Ugh. God damn it. The timing on this is really aggravating sometimes. I didn't even have the right damn bag open.
He has the makeable shot, we really don't. And he shanked it horribly. It was a horrible shank nice for that. Plus the, the kingmaker, the needle goes slower. That was terrible. All right, let's size her up here. Wow, not even 10%, so maybe 0.1 and it's fairly hit on, so. Oh, he's aiming a little bit past the cup for the right speed. Should be good if we need to hit a perfect ball. Alright, let's see what we get here. Now we're going into a pretty decent headwind, so we're probably only going to play slightly downhill. He needs to curl it. There you go. There's Max right there. We actually want to hit right about in here, so. Put the ball guide right about there. It's going to be three rings. Three and a half, roughly. And then some left curl. Ah, horrible. Oh, we got screwed on that. We're going to lose again. Nice job. I think that's, uh, probably point zero two one. Zero point two one. God, this game is frustrating. One more. I've lost every trophy I have on Tour 9 again. Not even playing bad. Make one bad shot and you lose. And my bad shot was less bad than his. That's what... Uh. I'm going to the gingerbread bread ball because of more power, less wind stopping, so I can get more distance on this sucker here.
Do my wind adjustment. Great shot! Now he's won five in a row, so that's always nice. But we don't know what levels the five in a row were. Huh. All right, we got to get on in two here. Very downhill and a tailwind. I'm gonna aim for just, it's really steep left there, so. Wait, what's going on here? Yeah, we'll take that. All right, we're gonna have a slightly downhill pitch there. Okay, so it looks like just under 50% there, right? So, say like 1.8 pass, roughly. Boom, there we go. That's where that wind adjustment is huge. Size it up you can kind of visualize the percentage on the caddy app if you click on that middle you can drag that thing up or down to so I kind of uh, make it look like it's the same percentage and that I mean that was textbook right there so Alright, hopefully you can do some more later. Got a lot going on, but the, the main thing I'm working on is when you play real golf, you don't want to just fire at the pin. You kind of want to see where you want the ball to end up on the green. Look for the apex. 
Because if we would have fired at the pin, in a lot of cases, it'll just sell off the edge of the green or whatever. So I'm trying to get where I leave myself a good putt. So I always look for the apex on the green. And uh, that's what I'm going to keep working on in addition to doing these perfect wind readings on the wedges.